Mr. Chair, members of the Council, ICSPA members, uh, participants, staff, it is an honor to be here today and uh, have a chance to visit with you. It's especially uh, humbling to be able to accept this on behalf of Dr. Uh, Jim Bowes. All of you know that Jim has been a pioneer in this industry and uh, I think as John said, many of you wouldn't be here without him. I don't know that the industry would be where it's at without Jim. He is probably the most humble man that I've ever known. Uh, and I think if he were here, he'd probably be embarrassed by this. But uh, certainly this coming from his friends and his associates and folks that he have wor he's worked with for so many years will have a great deal of meaning uh, to Jim. So on behalf of Jim, thank you for uh, this kind recognition of him. It is, again, it is an honor to be here. It's, uh, the more I learn about your industry, the more excited I am about the relationship between Oklahoma State University and, and ICSPA. I agree with Jack. Jack said yesterday something that really struck a chord with me and that this is our time. And I believe he's right. I believe it is our time collectively. We, uh, uh, since the very beginning, we've been a partner with ICSPA in helping build your industry. And I want to emphasize that that partnership continues. Jim's vision continues and is even stronger today than I think it's ever been, as well as our support from the university. Um, a real quick, real quick tale about Jim and a discussion that, that I had in August with Jim. I, I took over the dean's position in, in August, and I had a chance to sit down with Gerald and Jim, and he was talking about the future of ICSPA, specifically about the future of this industry. And he said the vision has to continue, the mission has to continue. Uh, that when I retire, it can't stop there. It's got to get better, and we've got to change. Uh, the world's changing around us, and that change has to occur. So his direction to me, and when you, when you work with somebody like Jim that's been at the university 52 years, he gives directions to deans. It normally doesn't work that, that way, but with Jim Bowes, it works that way. So my direction was to support the council, to support this industry, and make sure that that vision continues. There are challenges ahead of us, certainly with the economy, uh, with uh, awareness, not what we would like it to be, with consumers and decision makers. But with those challenges right now, there's a lot of opportunity. Oklahoma State University recognizes that, and we're actually making some changes to be in a better position to support your industry through technology, through research, uh, through support of training and development, it's an exciting time for us. Some of the things that you're going to see in the months and years ahead, an even closer relationship with the council board, uh, working to understand what your needs are, how we help you have a better bottom line, and I think that's important. That's why we have trade associations, isn't it? I don't think we should be embarrassed to say that the goal of a trade association is to help its members be more successful at what they do, and that's part of what we do. Uh, as part of that, um, we're going to work more closely, as I said, with the board. We're going to focus on some things within the university, uh, probably reorganizing how we're structured within the university so that we're in a better position to support ICSPA, especially having a higher visibility on campus, which is important. This is a premier relationship and partnership with, within our university, and we're very proud to have this partnership. And we're going to do what we can to continue to build that. We're going to work on some areas with the council to strengthen what we do with ICSPA, including advocacy of the ground source technology. That's very important. As Jack mentioned yesterday, and in visiting with the council uh, members is very important. In research, uh, research has gotten the industry to where it's at. And one thing that I would add, and it's a credit to this industry, as I learn more about it, a lot of the technology we have today and the innovation didn't come from the labs of OSU or Caltech or those kinds of places. It came from you, the people that are out there installing the systems and developing the systems. Technology advances came from you. But we're going to work with more research for technology, uh, not only transfer but sharing. More training and professional development throughout the United States and Canada and the world make it more accessible. And finally, marketing, both with inside the industry as well as outside the industry. That was one of the things I learned yesterday in listening to the marketing and membership committee and visiting with some of you that marketing is needed. It needs to continue both inside the industry, 
so that uh, your peers understand who ICSPA is and why it's important, as well as with elected officials and senior leaders, helping them understand the advantages and benefits of GEO and why they should be supporting the industry. So again, on behalf of Dr. Jim Bowes, thank you very much for this award. You're going to hold on to that, Jack. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. And get it to Gerald, otherwise I'll, yeah. I'll probably lose it. Gerald never loses anything. So it, uh, and thank you for the opportunity to work with you on behalf of Oklahoma State University. I forgot to mention, welcome on behalf of President Hargis and our Dean Paul Tukowski. Uh, again, we're very proud to be part of you. Is, uh, Where's my friend? Randy, where are you? Randy Chambers, stand up. Go Sooners, beat Texas. <laughs>